Hello! Today I'm going to be talking about iTunes. I'll be discussing how you can download information onto your PC. Alright, first we need to do is go ahead and type in the website, which is www.itunes.com. You'll notice here you have two different download options. We have the one that's in the bottom left-hand corner and then the one that's in the top right-hand corner. We'll go ahead and click the download that's on the bottom left-hand corner. Now you'll notice it's requesting your email address. You can go ahead and put that in if you want to receive any type of Apple news, um, software updates, product services, and etc. It's really up to you. Go ahead and click download. Go ahead and click on run. Click next. And install. You'll notice two different options at the top here. Uh, one to just really use for a shortcut if you want to go ahead and have an icon on your desktop or not. It's really up to you. Allow it to run. Congratulations, it's installed. Click Finish. Close the browser. Go ahead and click on Agree to the Terms and Conditions. Now we're going to go ahead and open iTunes using the icon on your desktop. Now you'll see where you can go ahead and explore the different options that you have in your iTunes screen. Now you'll notice at the top where it says cloud. This will explain how you can save pictures, email, notes, and etc. Once you go ahead and click on that, there is a tutorial video that will pop up that will explain how to use the iCloud. Let's see where it says explore the library and there's other different options. You can look at TV shows, movies, music, etc. Next we'll see where it says import CDs. This is if you plan to download music, you have a bunch of music that's downloaded ready to go, and then you want to burn that to a CD that you can put into your vehicle, play and listen to that, or you can do podcasts and other things and etc. Next we'll see a playlist. This is music that you've already downloaded or purchased. You can also sync to your iPod. That's another feature as well. You can go ahead and sync your music. Next feature says get new music. This is this will list any new music that's currently available. You can also download movies, TV shows, uh, podcasts, and other things as well. Some you have to pay for and others are free. There is an option too that you can click on that will tell you how you can get free podcasts. Now I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and pay for your apps and other things using your credit card information. I'll show you how to register with your iPad 2 or iPhone. Now you'll notice that the screen has popped up. You need to go ahead and connect your iPad 2.
Once you have it connected, the screen will pop up showing you what you need to do. Now you'll notice the screen has popped up. You can see how that it's connected now and that it's starting to sync with each other. Go ahead and feed your information into the screen. Click done. Now you can go ahead and see the name of your device. It should be listed on the screen here. It'll list the capacity for the device. And it will also show other features and information as well. Once your devices are synced, you can go ahead and check for updates. Sometimes if your equipment has a bug or some sort of virus, it may request that you make some changes or request an update on your device. Notice here where it says restore. This is if you're having issues with your device or you have too many apps or maybe you have a bug. You can go ahead and click restore. And what this will do is this will clear your product of any issues that you're having, like as if you had just bought a brand new product. Um, it's very important that you back up all of your information, all of your apps, all of your purchases, any downloads that you have, and etc. You'll see an option here to back up your information. Once you click that, it'll show you a video or it'll, a screen will pop up explaining how you can do all of this. Now you'll see a list of different options. Your first option is open iTunes when this iPad is connected. Now again, we're talking about a PC which is different than a Mac computer. However, with your PC, it will go ahead and ask you about this option. So when you sync with your iPad and once you're connected, a screen will automatically pop up. If you don't want that option, go ahead and uncheck the box. Next is sync with this iPad over Wi-Fi. This is very cool and this is a new feature as well. If you're connected with Wi-Fi, you can go ahead and sync or download all of your information, and that'll be ready to go for you. You can check that if you want that. You'll see this option, Preferred Standard Definition Videos. This means when you have a number of different videos already downloaded and you want to go ahead and upload that, you can just go ahead and use the regular standard definition videos, or you can use high definition as well. High definition is obviously the top quality for video. Next, you'll see where you can convert your music if you need to. And your last option is manually manage music and videos. If you leave this check, this means that iTunes will automatically categorize your information and your music into certain categories if you would like. We'll go ahead and click Start. You'll see at the top where it says Info. Uh, in this section, you can go ahead and set up your email, your Outlook, or any other information that you want to set up. You have the option to go ahead and automatically download your information, your apps, your music, everything onto your iPad, your iPad if you would like that. And that's the, same, the same goes for the calendar as well. Next, you'll see the option of how to buy music and other options as well. Go ahead and click on the Apple Store or the iTunes Store. Okay, now you'll be asked to go ahead and sign in. You'll have a new screen that pops up. You can go ahead and create a new account. It's very important that if you don't have credit card information to fit into your account, you won't be able to buy apps. You can still download free apps, but then you'll have to make sure you have your Apple ID to verify that it's actually your property. Go 
go ahead, click continue. Terms and conditions, go ahead, read through it and then agree. Make sure you check the bottom. Now we'll go ahead and register. Also, just a reminder, if you do have an email account, such as mac.com or me.com, it's really important that you make sure you change this to your Apple ID. That way, if you want to make changes in the future, you can go ahead and do this. This way, you can also get updates on other information, such as news and other features as well. Also for the password, you have to make sure you have a capital letter, lowercase letter, and a number. If you want to get emails from the iTunes store or other news and special features or other products that may be coming or other information on apps as well, you can go ahead and check that option. Go ahead and click continue. This is where you'll notice you can type in all your credit card information. You notice where it says to redeem a code or gift certificate. You know, if it's your birthday or Christmas or other holidays and you have a gift certificate for Apple, you go ahead and enter in that code. That way this will give you a discount on your purchase. You want to make sure you have accurate information typed in. Go ahead and click Create Apple ID. There will be a verification that will be sent to your email account. Now I'm going to yahoo.com. This is where my email is. Click on mail. Now you can see the email that I received from Apple. So now you can see how they have contacted me to go ahead and confirm or verify my email address and my other information. I'll go ahead and click what's called Verify Now. And then this will click connect me directly back to the website. So we want to go ahead and verify the email address. So I will type in my ID or my email address. Click verify address. You'll now receive a confirmation that your email address has been verified. Now you can go back to the store or the iTunes store. Click OK. Now it says, congratulations, your Apple ID is ready to be used in the iTunes store. This means I can go ahead and begin purchasing apps and other features that I'm interested in, movies, TV shows, everything. Time to go shopping.
Now I can show you how you download from iTunes or the App Store. You can go ahead and click on App Store. And then again, you'll see the different categories. Go ahead and pick the category that you want. You'll see one for free apps. And then you'll also see one where you have to pay for your applications. I'll go ahead and click on see where it says paid apps here. And then you have free apps at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and click on see all. I'll go ahead and click on Facebook. You can see where it says Downloads. Once that disappears, it means that you're ready to go ahead and download that information. You can go ahead and take a look around to get the overall concept of how to use the App Store or iTunes. You have to make sure that you click Sync if this is an option that you want to do if you want to download an app or sync an app to your other applications or your other devices as well. Right now it says there is no application for Facebook. So I'll go ahead and click Sync. Now at the top, you can see the bar where it's showing that this information is syncing to your iPad too. It says it's finished, so we'll go ahead and check your other device. To... And you can see your new application here for Facebook. So once everything's set up, Everything's set up and ready to go. Now if you want to disconnect, it's very important that you hit eject first before disconnecting your devices. Now you are okay to disconnect your devices. Now you're all ready to go.